Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can export 3D models from Blender to Unity with the right settings. Let's open this Blender file. For the demonstration purpose, I have this 3D model of Gem. First, I will show you what happened to the 3D model in Unity when we export with the default settings. Select the 3D model and by clicking on this small arrow, you can see the properties of the model. We have location and rotation 0 and scale 1. You can also use a shortcut key N to open the properties. To export your model, click on File and select Export and select your extension. I'm going to select FBX. Creating a separate folder for the model. And make sure you have selected the model from the hierarchy. And this checkbox is check. And we are keeping all other default settings. And click on export. As we have selected a Unity project to export a 3D model. And on opening a Unity, it will import automatically. But as you can see, the results are not as expected. Let's drop the model into hierarchy view. And you can see it have a random rotation and scale value. And because of this, the scripts will not work as expected. And next, quickly, we will be creating and applying a material to this gem. Now let's create a gem rotate script to see the effect. In the update function, I'm writing a transform dot rotate and passing a vector 3 dot up to rotate the gem. Let's go back to Unity. Just for the reference, I'm also creating a 3D cube. Select the gem and assign the script. Click on play to see the rotation. As we can see, the rotation is not as expected. It should change the values in the Y. For testing, assigning a script to the cube. And you can see, here we have the right direction. So when we get our model from the 3D software, by default, its position and rotation should be 0 and scale to 1. And now let's see what is the proper view of exporting 3D model for Unity. We have selected the model and keeping all these settings. Plus, we need to do is Check this apply transform and click on export FPX and go back to Unity. Open the model folder and select your model. So it looks like we have the right direction now. As on export, we have replaced the existing model. Select the model and reset its values. And just to double check, I'm deleting an old model and adding a new one. Now you can see we have all the axes in the right direction. And by default, we have position and rotation at 0 and scale at 1. Quickly assigning a material and script and play it again. And now gem is rotating in the correct direction. So that was the way of exporting 3D model for Unity. And you can also select the model mesh to see more detail. In case your model is not using all the features, you can disable them. In this case, I'm not using animation, so I'm selecting none and apply. And we're also not going to import any animation for this model. So uncheck the import animation and apply. As we are not importing any materials, so selecting none for this case as well. Thank you for watching. Keep learning and I'll see you in the next video.